Hello, this is Algebra and Equation Solving. Solving equations involving negative coefficients. Example 3. Uh, example 3, we have this little story problem. And the first step is to take the information from the story problem and put it in your own words. It'll make more sense and you'll start to see the relationships. There's a $600 loan. Uh, you'll be paying back $650 and you're going to pay $25 per month. And the question is, how many months until you owe $100? Well, it looks like this $600 isn't really going to enter our equation. We're going to need an equation that represents how much you owe, because that's the question. And um, this is the important number. It's because you have to pay back $650 and 25 per month. This is that reoccurring theme where we're going to multiply this times the number of months because if the, if the month is just one, it's $25. Two means you've paid back $50. Uh, three, 75 would be $75, and so forth. So the, um, to get the amount you owe, we're going to start with the 650 and we're going to subtract all of your payments. So we're going to subtract 25 times M. And um, this equals how much you owe. So after the first month, you've paid $25. You still owe $625. Uh, after two months, you've paid back $50. So you'll owe $600. The question is how many months is it going to be till this comes all the way down to $100? Uh, maybe you're interested in this because you figure when you, if you only owe 100 bucks, you're just going to pay him the 100 bucks and have it done with. So now we can uh, solve this, uh, this uh, uh, equation and um, just like we did with the last couple, uh, we're used to having the, the, no, the variable as the first term. So let me switch that around. It'll be minus 25m plus 650 equals 100. And uh, now, just like these equations we've worked out before, uh, this one where we had to minus uh, 8 from both sides and then divide by 3, uh, here we're going to minus 650 to both sides and then divide by minus 25. So when I minus 650 to both sides, I'm left with minus 25m equals minus 550. Now, uh, when I divide both sides by negative 25, negative divided by a negative is going to be a positive. So m is going to be positive, And all I have to do is divide 550 by 25. And that's 22. So it'll take 22 months before I only owe $100.